Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is for you, I'm Cyclone. It's time for our Let's Play Train Sim World 3. We're doing the second scenario on the New York Talbahn today. Let's get started. Well, that's a charming view. Good morning, driver. Bring this spare train to Stockholm, where you will uncouple one set and make one ready for service. Is this the train that we are looking at right here? Is this the train? No, it's just a pole. It's that. Uh, anyway, our train is the thing over here. Let's enter our train and get ready to depart. We have not been given indication where we're going yet, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of hang out here. I think it's the other end based on where we are, but uh, let's see. Yep, it's the other end. Okay. Now, something I noticed uh, between Train Sim World 2 and Train Sim World 3... I noticed that you have to hold down the shift key if you want to walk. Uh, in the previous incarnation of the game, you had to hold the shift key to run. Now it's walk. Interesting. A uh, little change. I guess it was uh, seen as a much friendlier thing to be able to... Uh, making sure nothing's coming. I should have done that before getting over here. I think it's uh, obviously a much better... Incarnation not have to hold down shift while running because that's the faster movement. You, if you're walking on foot, you kind of want to go fast. So it was seen as a, a more positive thing to be able to do it that way. Now, I'm again, I'm not going to try to break the train here. We're going to do it properly here. Let's go ahead and put the uh, reverser in. Now we'll put that forward. We're going to put the brake key in. We're going to cut it in. And I forgot to enable the transmission. Let's do that. I've already done the brake key anyway. Train lights are now going to be turned on. These are things we did last time that are technically you can do. You can do move the train without doing them, but we probably should do them anyway on every run. Now, even though we have our um, train lights on, we probably also want to put the headlights on. So that would be a good idea. And we've done that, and we can now position ourselves in the cab. If I can get myself centered where I want to be, good enough. And. Uh, we have a go via task, but we have to wait for this train, as you can see. That's why I'm kind of taking my time. But we should get a green very shortly, so I'm going to start my movement. We're going to make our way from, or rather, through to the neater area. I believe it's Aldenstadt we uh, started at. Let me just check this, but I think it's Aldenstadt. I can't say 100% where it is, but we'll just verify very, very quickly. We do have a green signal now, by the way, and I want to find this out before I get too far. That would be nice. Where am I? Um, throttle is off, by the way. Where's the sign for Aldenstadt? Show me Aldenstadt, please. Show Aha! No, I'm at Heldenbergen-Windecken. That's where I started today, and uh, obviously... My train is up here. I've gone beyond the signal, which is why it's now red. And we're going to go ahead and hop back in and get ourselves positioned for proper driving. Now, part of the reason I wanted to do the um, movement I was doing there is because I'm trying new settings. Uh, after the last video, I looked at my settings. And I found that my frame rate was showing a 62. Um frame rate. I was showing it to be locked at 62. I changed that to 60. I changed my recording specs to 30. That should reduce the lag appearing on video. Uh, I am still trying to run the game at 60. It does run fairly well. Sometimes it does fall under 60. In fact, I should say very often it falls under 60, but uh, I do my best with it. And obviously because I'm not getting a perfect frame rate, I'm not going to be able to record a perfect game either. So I've gone ahead and changed my recording settings to get one out of every two frames. Therefore, trying to Minimize the chance that those frames will be laggy and make it obvious that I'm not getting a full game out of it. So, I'm trying to give you a smoother recording. We'll see how it works out. I'm also a little curious about how the um, fragmentation in some of the graphics will have changed. The uh, reason for that, of course, is because you were seeing those square motifs on the last video, square motifs. And I wanted to uh, try to limit that as well. So I tried to um, turn the motion blur off, and that should hopefully help with that. I hope. 
If it's still not perfect, I'm going to have to uh, find other settings to uh, tinker with, but for right now, we're going to go with it. So we are heading for uh, Icon Neater. I'll go ahead and uh, pipe down for a moment and let you enjoy this scenery. So we've just arrived at Neater. I think we're supposed to be going at a lower speed going through that platform. You notice I'm still having a little lag too, so I might have to change my graphic quality as well. But you notice I probably should be going forward in this area, so I've gone ahead and uh, not taken my speed all the way to 60 here. We're going to go ahead and merge back onto the track here. And once we're finished merging back on the track, I'm going to bring the speed back up until we get to the 40 up ahead around Aldenstadt Hetz.
Whoopsie, speed wasn't coming off as fast as I wanted it to, and I'm actually angling to overshoot here, which is unfortunate. So we're going to try to uh, not do that. At the very least, we got a perfect stop, so we're going to have to sit here and wait for a moment. Uh, I think the uh, problem here appears to be the signal is uh, red. So uh, that stop arm means that we are not able to proceed. We probably have to wait for a train is the uh, best guess that I have here. So we're going to just uh, stand our ground here, wait for a minute as instructed. You may have noticed I never turned the wipers on. I probably could turn them on. I've noticed that uh, from the previous scenario that we were obviously having some visual lag on them and you might, may or may not be noticing that now uh, while I'm sitting here at a stop. So for the sake of uh, keeping things somewhat smooth, I've been keeping the wipers off for this run. That's not off. That's off. So uh, I may just leave them that way and we'll just deal with the fact we can see enough uh, and it kind of gives a nice visual of what it looks like with the um, with water soaking the, win the uh, window as well. So I think we'll just leave it and have less graphical problems this way. You know what I mean? Seems legit. So objective complete. We're just waiting now. I guess they were doing an inspection of something. I do see a train coming, though. There it is. Let's hide the HUD for a moment. You can actually see the train coming in. Fine, don't respond, jerk. So bring the HUD back up. And we're going to see the... Um, since we're, since they have a stop way too close to the signal, we're going to wait for the signal to change in the HUD instead of, you know, looking up. Because, you know, convenience. And we are now able to bring the brakes off. I'm not set them like I initially did, but bring them off. We now can proceed to Stockheim for our next stop. So we are on our way now from Altenstadt, Altenstadt to Stockheim. Stopping at track number four and we will have additional tasks as we get there.
now within 500 meters of our 40 kilometer per hour speed restriction. Also a green signal not very far in front of that. We're going to make sure we meet the 40 restriction this time. I think it was a couple miles over last time, or a couple kilometers over last time, just by accident there. We'll make sure we bring it down early enough this time. So we should have no problem now meeting that restriction. I didn't realize my uh, throttle was on, but that's good to realize now. Oh, you're kidding me. That one kilometer had to stick on there, didn't it? Well, so be it. I swear these games are out to get me, ladies and gentlemen. I swear it. Oh, he's recording? Quick, get him off guard. There is another 60 uh, kilometer per hour speed limit coming up, but it's not gonna be relevant to us because we're gonna be stopping at about 500 meters. So we're not going to really be able to get up to that. We are going to be taking the siding off here. I'm going to actually go back below 40 here. So 30 seems to be a good target for this uh, transition. While I'm on the transition, that is. There is the stop marker up ahead. Yep, we have to take the left here, so we're definitely doing that. We have a double white, so yeah, we're expecting to stop. So we are, of course, at the end of the route. If we were to go on a foot, we won't be able to get too far beyond this station. This is the end of our uh, path on this route. It is actually the end of the route as well. We actually have the termini for the route on both ends. So though the tracks continue, we don't get to see any of the tracks beyond because they're not part of the route. And therefore have not been developed. Two perfect stops. Now we need to uncouple the rear unit to leave it here. Afterwards, we will bring this unit to the platform. Roger. So we're going to hop outside. We're going to step to a position on the train where we can actually uncouple. I did not mean to speed there, but uh, in terms of the view, but we're going to go in between these two trains. Rather than get out and inspect it ourselves, we'll just go ahead and do it quickly. We are uncoupled. We can now hop back inside the train and we will be good to continue with our forward movement in a moment. We're gonna to have to wait for that red signal to clear. I'm gonna bring up the task list and show you what remains. We have to stop up ahead as we're told. We're gonna to continue to turn off the power switch, put the train brake to off, remove the brake key, obviously, move the reverser. We're gonna be eventually uh, switching ends. We're gonna be moving back to the platform. So we are gonna have a, a bit of a process to shut down the train coming up here. That's what I wanted to show you here. So let's move up to our indicated stop point here. Not too fast because we are only uh, literally 333 meters away from it. So it looks like a red signal, but we've been given a shunt movement. You can see it from the uh, diagonal icon there. So that means we do have a shunt movement permitted. So we can obviously walk into this area over here, but that red signal up ahead, I'm pretty sure is permanently red. Uh, we probably cannot go beyond that signal. There probably is a limit to the uh, route boundaries beyond that point.
See if I can nail three perfect stops here. It'd be very nice if we can do that. No, nah, a little short on this one, unfortunately. I lost 20 points on that. Are you serious? Three meters away, I lost 20 points on that. I don't get this. Uh, as for where we are on the route, we'll just take a quick look. You can see the route does continue, but again, the uh, path does stop here. So we are not able to go any further. And uh, it does indeed go around the curve and it comes to a terminus up here. So we can't see anything beyond that. That is a terminus. Again, on this side, you see the same thing. There's a terminus over here too. So this is literally the end of the route. And the rest of the route obviously is down here. The same thing happens on this end. And you see the same thing as you look at the Altenstadt area, that there's a terminus on both ends of Altenstadt as well. So the uh, main lines that we cross obviously are not uh, areas that we're gonna be able to do any work. We stay on the branch line the entire time. So we're gonna go ahead and hop off the train here after we complete our tasks which include turning off this uh, lovely power switch here. So power is off. We're gonna put the train brake into an off position. We are now being instructed to remove the brake key. We should obviously cut the brakes out before we try to remove the brake key. So we're gonna do that. Brake key is now removed. The reverser needs to be set to zero, which basically means neutral. Kind of weird way to put it. We're gonna remove the reverser as well because you know, proper. And actually we were told to do that even better. So we're gonna go ahead and hop out now of the chair. We're gonna turn around here after we take one more light, lovingly beautiful look outside the cab on the main line and the water puddles over there. And then we're gonna go ahead and depart. We're gonna get ourselves stuck behind the door, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're gonna do. Let's go to this side. There we go, cab door is closed. We can't go through the cab because we're gonna to have to leave the train anyway, so we'll just go ahead and hop out here. We're gonna shut this door, obviously. So we're outside. If we were to go walking down here again, we're gonna find ourselves hitting a barrier. So there's absolutely no way we're gonna be able to go too far down here. I'm not gonna bother to demonstrate that. We can walk past the red signal, but there's gonna be an invisible wall that we can't go through. Actually, in this case, we could have gone through the train. We only have two cabs. We could have actually stayed in the train for this one. So maybe I should have done that. Oh, well. We're gonna hop up. We're gonna lock the door again. We're gonna open the door on this side. We're going to close the door on this side. We're gonna hop in the chair and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do here. We're gonna insert the reverser. Well, that makes sense. Reverser is in, we'll put it forward to clear that task immediately. We'll put the brake key in, which is not the step they want us to do yet, but I'll do it anyway. So we're gonna put the power on. We're gonna cut the brakes in because we should. And we're gonna release the brakes and we're gonna be on our way. There we go. So we're gonna head, well, we already are heading forward. I already did that. And we're gonna move ahead to Stockheim platform one, 20 point penalty for three meters. Seriously, can't believe that. That's ridiculous. I mean, 4,050 points for a gold. I don't think that's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that's possible. I mean, yeah, I took two speeding penalties and I lost 20 points for a uh, stop accuracy, but I would still have 3,480 points with that right now. I'm not even at 4050. This might not be possible, guys, to get a gold. Or if it is, it's going to be very, very close. So we're 300 meters away from our stop. I'll go ahead and I'll start slowing down now. We are taking the uh, junction. So yes, 40 is our limit on the junction. So we're getting ourselves under 20 now that we're about 200 meters away from the stop. 
rather into the 20s. There's the uh, start point for the scenario we just did last time, the uh, Hugging Tree scenario. I'm letting the train slow down quite a bit here on purpose, so now I'm going to release the brakes. I'm going to put the throttle up to make sure we don't slow down completely because I don't want to stop this far back. This will do. Train brake is in an off position, which I want to do. I will make sure the hand goes behind me this time if I can. Let's not stop yet, please. It tried. We'll get the hand behind me, make sure we get a perfect stop. There you go. I got three perfect stops on this journey, so we're not gonna complain about that too much. Let's see what we have to do to shut down the train. Nope. This concludes this small shift. Thank you for bringing the train over. Roger. And uh, we just do a little bouncy celebration here and uh, see how the graphics look. And we're gonna end our shift right here. So we're gonna loot. Wait, we can't get a perfect score. We can't get a perfect score on this. We can't get 40-50. You can't get more than a silver medal on this, ladies and gentlemen. I had 50 points and penalties, but remember that a gold is 4,050. It can't be done. Uh, I am going to assume that this was a late discovery on the uh, back end, and this may be fixed in the future. I know in the past they have changed scenarios after the fact when they realized that a goal wasn't possible. So chances are this is going to be one that this happens in. And my score might be enough for gold in the future when they make that change. But for right now, it's not possible to get a gold. I'm only 50 points short of a perfect score. That's something they're going to have to fix. Because um, the perfect score will get you a silver medal. Uh, if I were to go back and do a perfect run. Which I'm not going to do. <laughs> I have better things to do with my time. Anyway, I hope the graphics worked out better in this one. I'm going to find out on review. And I'm going to probably have some late comments on review as to uh, how it is. Uh, if I'm still fine, the graphics are still not as good as they could be, or at least I'm getting some graphical lag, uh, I'm going to go ahead and modify my graphics settings to have lower resolution on various aspects. I'm going to have to speak to someone for assistance with that to figure out the best tactics. But what I might do in that case is I might put off doing my third video, and I might just uh, come back to this after I sort out the graphics settings. I do want to do more Train Sim World, but I want to make sure you're going to be able to see it as well and enjoy it properly. Um... I may have to get a new computer to properly show this game off. We'll have to see. I'll have to see what I uh, feel like doing. This is a four-year-old computer, so uh, this is this computer has definitely seen uh, a really good run. It's done a lot of stuff for me. Got me through a second run of college uh, and a lot of things. So we'll see uh, what happens. I may keep using it for a while. I'm going to keep using it for a while for Train Sim Classic at least. And uh, it's running fairly well with that right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the right mix to do Train Sim World on it, so I might have to get an i7 or even an i9. We'll see what happens. But in the meantime, we are getting two stairs out of the way. We are going to keep going on this uh, route when we come back to it. I'm probably going to do the uh, railway crossing trouble route next, but I might, I'm might. i inclined to see what the ghost scenario involves. I kind of want to know what happens with this ghost that supposedly we see on uh, the other 30-minute run. So I may do that when tomorrow anyway just to get a run of all the shorter scenarios and I might do the two longer scenarios on a Friday Tuesday setup that's what I'm kind of thinking of doing so I may change my mind I may come back and do the ghost one anyway uh, but I'm gonna look at the graphics and how they work on the scenario before I do that before I know whether you're gonna get that scenario tomorrow or not so stay tuned you may see a third scenario tomorrow you may not uh, in the meantime have a wonderful day evening or night whatever time it is for you you're part of the world Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to know when I post more TSC, TSW, and SimRail content. And anything else I decide to do. I want to get the truck sims going on here, of course. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Sim World 3. I'm Cyclone. Bye-bye.